Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on S3. Now, the rugged mountains, the pristine beaches oh, yes. with crystal clear waters, lush forests and even green valleys if only are only a few of the reasons to visit the popular tourist destination of Greece. And in a country so rich in history and culture, a new adventure awaits around every single corner. Yo, you took me there right now when you said all of that. Now, if Greece is on your bucket list of places to visit, you need to know some basic phrases to get back. And dancing teacher from the Greek Dancing Academy of Cape Town, Valencia Papa Nikolaou, takes us through some useful Greek phrases right now. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. It's nice Thank to see you. you. And Costa. Thank you. Nice to have you guys over here. We, we're looking forward to, to all of the, the phrases. Um, we've got our <laughs> tongues like sort of warmed up and ready to go. So this is, this is how it goes. But the one thing about Greek language that I've noticed, it's very, very unique. You know, some, some of the languages have a, a certain embedding and similarities, but... Greek is very unique. What is it about the language that makes it so special? I think that the Greek language is very expressive. Quite similar to Afrikaans. Oh, the I love it. Expressions are, uh, they just d describe what you're trying to say. Oh, that's it, beautiful. It I, sense, love, eh? I love that aspect of it. And especially you mentioning like Afrikaans. I, I can relate to that side. But I'm someone that's got a little bit of a tongue twist. So whenever you say <laughs> something, the brain functions, but the mouth doesn't follow through. <laughs> there are a lot of his and thiz and yeah. fizz and which the English language doesn't have, and I think that's where the difficulty comes. Yeah, it's a, it's a Mediterranean thing, you know. That's the, that's the thing, and all that. Uh, no, no. Yeah. But, you have, but you have to get used to it. It's, it's important, though. I actually wanted to. So, in terms of of the phrases, I think it's important for us to to, to get around. So, if it's, we are going to visit, because I mean, we'd love to go to. To, to Greece, by the way. We're just letting you guys know. Santorini is on yeah. my bucket Santorini list. Santorini would be fantastic. <laughs> we just want to put that out there into the universe, okay? Yes. But let's start off with a simple phrase. Some, something easy. What do you think would be a good... Hello, how are you? There we I go. I think that's a good one. Kalimera, tikanis. Tikanis. Ah, yes. Kalimera, tikanis. There no, we go. Funny enough, growing up, I had a, there was a fisheries around the corner and there was a Greek person who owned the fisheries and the first thing he taught me was tikanis. Tikanis. Yes. Mm. Kalimera, tikanis. And then he said uh, the, the response would be kala, kala veristo. Kala. Kala efkaristo, which yeah. means a good thank you. Oh. Say that again. Kala efkaristo. Yes. Kala. Yes. Tikanis? Kala. That's right. That's good. <laughs> That's absolutely perfect. It, it was great, right? Okay, how about this? How about, like, what is your name? Because if you're going to meet somebody in Greece in Santorini mm. who needs to direct us to the hotel or something, you're going to say, what is your name? T in a to no masu. T in to ho. To no masu. T in to no masu. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Great. He's good at it. And if I meet a cute boy, how do I ask him what's your number? There we go. Let's go. Um, let's go to those. Well, this is this is an interesting one. Uh, you would say T in o arithmosu. Oh, that sounds That's very right. flirty already. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that? It's the uh, orthomosu. Yeah, um, you could probably put a nice spin on it, you know. Tineto orthomosu. And you could, uh, you know, get, get by. I mean, already, if you've got that phrase ahead, it doesn't matter where you're in the world. If you say to somebody orthomosu, I'll be like, hey, <laughs> I know where that is. So if I want to introduce myself, my, I'll say, my name is Carl. What do you think? So how do you say that? Melene Carl. Melene? Melene. Melene. Melene Carl. Melene Zoe. That's and my cool. name is actually, it means life in Greek. Zoe. It does. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Zoe. This is great. I know that also when I, I mean, I know that the Euros are coming up and there's going to be national anthems that will be in the stadia. So I wanted to know the national anthem itself. Uh, without unpacking the entire anthem, I know it's very special too. Because I love anthems. There's just something yeah. about them. There's the expression, the passion. So your national anthem in, in Greece. Give us a, a line from the national anthem that you feel is the most powerful for you to sing. The first line is probably the most powerful, the most patriotic line. Okay, what is it? What is the first line in Greek? In Greek? Yes. Se gnorizo aptinopsi tu spathiu titromeri. Wow. What does that translate to? I recognize you from the side of the um, sword, which is. Tra uh, tromeri is. A, a brave sword almost. Yes. Okay. Yes, tragic. Tyrannical, so the side of the sword, in other words, the, the sharp yes. side of the sword. So I recognize you from the sharp side of the sword. Hmm. And it's got to do with um, the Greek independence yes. from the Ottoman Empire. 
Oh my Interesting. Word. Expressive. There's something yes. beautiful about that line, and it, I, I, I love that. I think the, the one that'll stick with me today is that Orithm, that, say that one again. Orithmosu. Orithmosu. Because you can just tell that there's magic there. But thank you very much for giving us a, a good a sort of lesson in Greek. I think it's wonderful. And also the performance themselves, the, you guys were phenomenal. I love that. Because there's Thank a you. unity there. Everybody's connected there is a when unity. you're dancing. No, absolutely. The, it's wonderful. Look, dancing comes from, the vi from village, yes. from village life. And village life, um, most of the dances are circular. And that's how people unite. Yeah. At the end of the day, they get together and they face inwards and they look at each other. And that's oh. an, an important part of getting together, feeling each other and being one. Because dancing alone is a, is a singular event, but dancing in a circle is a community event. Oh, beautiful. And we are a community here. We love dancing together on Expresso and yes. S3. So how would you say thank you very much? Evharisto parapoli. Evharisto parapoli. We'll be right back. This is Expresso and S3. Whoopah.